Hey, what's going on guys? Evan from Model3D. Today's video is going to be the second part in the series of how to resin print. If you haven't already watched the first video, then go up here, click that button up there. That will take you to the first video where we covered how to hollow out your 3D prints using Mesh Mixer. Uh, today's video is going to cover how to add supports using the program B9 Creator. Um, I've created a few custom profiles for this to make sure that my bed diameters are the same size as the bed diameters on my printer, be that my D7 or my Moai. So I'll drop a link down in the description below for you to download these custom profiles. But let's go over to the PC, let's open B9 Creator and let's show you how to get those supports. So we're over here in B9 Creator. I will leave a link down in the description for you to download this. Um, and like I said, I'll have profiles for both the Moai and the D7 build plates. This is a custom build plate that I designed and modeled obviously off the Wanhao actual build plate. I didn't bother making one for the Moai yet, um, I just scaled it to the size. As you can see the model is actually stretched but that doesn't really matter because obviously you're just using the top. Um, so we're going to import by here and this is the model we had last time, this is the spanner bot hollowed out. So we're going to import that in. As you can see he's already at 45 degrees which is the angle we're going to print him at. We did this in Mesh Mixer previously and yeah he's ready to go. I've noticed a little issue that the foot has from Mesh Mixer hollowing. As you can see there's a little edge cut off there but for the purpose of this video I'm not going to bother with that. So he's already at 45 degrees so first thing we need to do is raise him up off the bed. So you come down here on the left hand panel and on your Z you want to put that to 5mm. Um, I've trialed this a few times um, different heights and I found 5mm works well every time. If you do it to say something like 2mm and then you were to add supports and let's say you wanted to put a medium support right right on the bottom of his foot. You want to do that. As you can see it'll come through the bottom of the build plate and this means that when you slice this be that in Cura for my Moai or Nano DLP or Creative Workshop or anything else um, this will be the first point of print so it'll start the print on this very little edge and then that will mess the whole print up from the very first layer which is obviously very bad so if you go back to model change this to 5 and that no longer happens which is really useful um, it's just something to be aware of make sure that nothing's popping out the bottom of the plate before you export your file but yeah let's get going on this um, for such a small model this is 50 millimeters um, you've got all your dimensions here but obviously it's at an angle so it's 41 but yeah for such a small model we're just going to use the supports up here we're just going to use the light and the medium um, there's no need for heavy, heavy is a really really big one and that's just going to leave crazy marks and it doesn't need that so we're going to add up here um, for my supports I always change the bottoms to 2mm this creates a really nice thick bottom layer um, like you would see on the Formlabs printers they use a nice thick bottom layer and they make sure that it always sticks to the plate, you don't have any issues of it peeling off or anything like that. So after lots of trial and error I found that 2mm works really really well. So to do that we're going to start off with our light supports, you go down to bottom here, you've got top, mid and bottom. So you're going to adjust any sizes of the, of the supports that you want. So go to bottom and change your length to 2mm. And that means that it creates a nice thick bottom layer. So first up we're going to put the supports on the very very first point of contact that you print from which will be the bottom of the feet. The lovely thing about B9 it shows a line parallel to the build plate of exactly where everything is going to be printing so what you want to look out for mainly on resin printing is less overhangs more islands so for example an island would be where you go up here and you can see that on the bottom of his bum it's a separate part that isn't attached to the legs and that is an island that's going to be printing in mid-air so you definitely need support on that so we're going to go right out down to the bottom and as you can see here this is the first first point of contact so we've got our light support set our bottoms to 2mm and it'll go onto the custom tab as you can see and we go right right on there and we put just a little bit up and you can see that that has come halfway through the foot so we know that we have to come up the slightly slightly more just so it doesn't come through so we're going to go about here and that holds the bottom of the foot but it doesn't come through the model and that's right in the middle so we're going to do another one on this side I'm going to come around here find the point of contact come up a little bit from the top and as you can see it hasn't come through the model so that's perfect so we're going to put in another one on either side and like I said these are light supports so these practically brush off 
they're really really small which is useful so we've got to put one on each side there so we've got so we've got three light supports on the point of contact of each foot and just for support on this we're going to put a medium uh, like I said two mil always on the bottom we're going to put a medium on each one of these just so it doesn't peel off the feet on the little supports but the useful thing about this is you've got a nice big flat spot so they can sand down easy um, if you cut them with side snips after they've printed it's it'll come off clean you and you won't even notice it um, so yeah we've seen them now and next up we're going to look at the hands we're going to go back to our light supports change the bottom back to 2 mil and we're going to look for the first point of contact again like I said this line parallel to the bill plate is really really useful so as you can see the first point of contact is these tiny little nubs on the end so we're going to put a light one on there and we're going to put a light one on there and that is good and we'll do that on both sides obviously you do this to whatever model you're using but like I said I'm using the Spanabot so if you want to follow along um, type in Spanabot on Thingiverse and you can find this exact file it's pre-scaled to 50mm, hollowed out in mesh mixer and ready to go, you can follow along, you can customize your supports any way you like so we've done them on the hand and we're gonna look at the bottom now so as we spoke about before the first point of contact here, this little island in the middle so we're gonna go right to where it starts and we're gonna put one there We're going to put one either side just for a bit of strength because obviously it's quite a large island before it actually gets to the point where it merges and then lastly we're going to go up to the top of this head and look where this starts get that island right in the middle one either side and and that's most of the actual really really important little islands to start off with and so now we're going to add some extra medium supports for structure like I said these small supports once printed are actually really really fine so if you just printed this alone just on smalls they might stick but they might also be too much peel force and you'll just pull them straight off so I add a few mediums with the 2 mil bottoms just to be sure that it doesn't fall off and it doesn't have any issues while printing so we're gonna put one on this side of the island this side of the island one up in the middle and one at the top of his head and this is a very very minimal support um, piece you don't need a lot these will come off very cleanly you won't even see the marks we're going to put one right in the middle of the hand there one right in there and this one just helps because this hand is only connected with the two light supports all the way up until here where it connects with the model so we've got this one here just to give it a bit of reassurance and we're going to put one on the arms as well just to give it a bit of strength while it's printing so as you can see there you just strategically place them you don't have to go crazy you don't have to put loads um, if you make a mistake you can go up to this top tab at the top and you can click delete and you can obviously delete which other ones you want and another good option is to click the modify if something's coming out too far or it's too far out of your build plate you can drag this and you can place that anywhere you want it but we're just going to leave that about there for now so now that we've got this island here we're going to put one medium on either side just to give it that extra support as we spoke about before and we're going to put one right in the middle of his back and for support he's done he's got all the essential little islands um, all the starting points anything that starts on its own and is not attached to the model they're all supported we've got our structural supports these big uh, medium supports which they look quite large compared to the small or the light sorry but once they're actually printed they're very very fine and a pair of close cut side snips and they all come right off a little bit of sanding and you're back to a perfect model um, but yeah that's nice and strong now like I said nice thick bottom to stop any peeling off uh, five mil from the bed to stop any of the supports coming through to the build plate and he's ready to go so if you're happy with your supports like I said one more time you can check over with this parallel line or you can go through the x-ray vision and see exactly where your supports are and you can see that you're completely happy with that then you go to file up in the left and you click export so we save this as spanner hollow uh, 
support and he's ready to import into whatever slicer you use be that nano dlp creation workshop or um, kira for the moai or any other of your, of your slicing needs so i hope you like the video please make sure to click like if you did um, make sure to leave a comment if there's something you would like me to elaborate on any future videos you'd like to see me do and if you're not already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video